This tutorial will show you how to get started with your Oti Arc and the Oti Automation Toolbox. So you will need your Oti Arc and the Automation Toolbox subscription. Also note that we have used the Coitex Switchboard prototype to which you can find more information via the link below. To begin, remove the battery from your device under test and connect the battery connector on your device to the main output of Oti Arc. Then connect the switchboard to the Oti Arc. It will be used to connect the USB when flashing and disconnect the USB when measuring the device. Also make sure that you move the USB cable from the device under test to the switchboard. After that, add a USB cable between the switchboard and the device under test. Connect the TX on the device under test to the RX of the switchboard with a yellow patch cable. This is used to get the locks from your device. Now that your hardware is set up, here are the steps for writing and running the automated tests at your desktop. This can then be part of your everyday setup. First, install the OttiPython TCP client using pip. Write a simple test script that flashes the firmware and runs a few tests calculating the energy consumption. On the Coitec GitHub you can find a few sample test scripts that get you started. You can find the link below. Start the Oti desktop application. In Preferences under Server, click Start to start the TCP server. With the Oti TCP server running, you can now run your test script. Then make a change in the firmware sleep mode. In this case, we change it from ultra low to hibernate. Run the test script again. As you can see, you can now compare the two measurements. In our case, the two variants of sleep mode. For a continuous integration setup, for example with Jenkins, these are the steps you should take. Connect Oti Arc and the device under test to a Jenkins built server using the same setup as in the previous example. Write a Jenkins wrapper for the test that automatically starts Oti CLI before running the tests. This script will also create test reports to Jenkins. Create a new freestyle project in Jenkins. Configure the project to run the test when there is a change in the repository of the firmware code. Add the Jenkins wrapper as the build step. And make sure to publish the test reports as a post build action. Test the new project to make sure everything is set up correctly. Now if we make a change that will affect the power consumption and we push this change to the main repository, we will get notified about this, just as we get notified about other tests and build errors. As always, check the Coitec documentation if you have more questions about this.